Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the light heavyweight bout between Anthony Smith versus Vitor Petrino. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going high confidence Vitor Petrino to beat Anthony Smith. And um, yeah, Anthony Smith is definitely, I feel like, the more technical, more seasoned fighter. The guy has had like, had like 100 fights in total. So a lot of experience, a lot of skills. He's definitely you know, developed over all those fights. The guy's a very technical fighter, very skilled, very educated fighter. But yeah, I feel like he's on the downtrend. He's returning too soon after taking a lot of damage against Khalil Roundtree. Khalil Roundtree is not having even, um, had, you know, he's not even um, about to fight. You're fighting sooner than the guy that destroys you. And his return might be a little bit delayed, but it was appropriate. As a matter of fact, he's about to fight real soon, like probably like a month or two from now. And that makes sense. But you're fighting like a month and a half or something, like maybe two months from getting starch. You should be fighting when he's fighting or a little bit later, but you're coming back soon and fighting another hot prospect and not giving yourself time off. It is not a smart move for him. And I feel like Vitor Petrino, like he's developing with each and every fight. And um, it's also a pretty um, decent path to victory that has already been charted for beating Anthony Smith. Like blast his legs, which I feel like Petrino has the power, to, you know, technique could be a little bit better than the kicks, but I feel like he can definitely line some kicks and um, hurt the legs of Anthony Smith. They look to level change or look to, you know, well, I spent a lot of time. He don't just, he just does not react, respond the right way to get his legs kicked. Like he gets kicked and he just starts to go into turtle defense mode, like old school Brock Lesnar step with better BJJ and just accepts the bottom position. And I feel like Petrino could shut down his jujitsu and just go right in his guard, drop ground, ground a pound on him and ground out the decision over. I feel like it's going to be a path that like multiple people have done over him. Let me just say one. And what's, the, what's that one guy who just got um stopped by? Jerry Prochaska. Yeah, the names the names be looting me all the time. But it is what it is. But the, I feel the game plan is he's gonna touch him with some heat, gonna attack the legs, attack the body, and when Anthony Smith feels pressure and he feels hurt off field threat and he curls up on the ground. And John Jones did John Jones was probably like the first one who did that to him, not in his career, but you know, kind of at his peak around the UFC. And then everyone started like, oh, I could do this to him too. So yeah, I think he's gonna blast the legs, touch him with some heat. Put the pressure on him. Andy Smith, when he starts getting tagged or feeling some like some pain and stuff, also again return to soon. I feel like he's gonna be able to take damage as well. Especially Petrino got some heavy hands. Technique could be cleaner, but he's gonna touch him with those heavy hands. And Smith is gonna chill up. Whether you touch him up top or kick his legs, rip him to the body, to put enough heat on him, he's gonna go into pull guard. And he, he pulled a guard against Ankaliyev too. That was dumb. He got finished. He was doing okay. He felt a little bit of pressure, and he himself Ankaliyev didn't get the takedown. He pulled guard. Nikolai finished him on the ground. Like, so, it, again, it's been multiple instances where he has done stupid stuff like that. And he's going to make the fight easier for Petrino. When Petrino puts some heat on him, he's going to curl up, and Petrino's going to land ground a pound. Maybe try to go for the finish, but I just feel like at this point, the momentum's on Petrino's side. The momentum's against uh, Smith. And returning way too soon after taking a lot of damage, he, he really is a good chance he can get finished here. So, if the odds are like plus 800 for a finish, which would be dumb, hey, that might be a good play. I mean, that would be a good play. But I'm leaning decision here. He's going to grind out decision over Smith. Smith's going to go into a full defense mode, pull guard, try to, I guess, minimize the damage he's taking, but going to minimize the opportunity or the chances of him winning the victory to winning the fight to pretty much, I guess, the first couple seconds of each round beyond the first once he started wearing damage. But you had to see him turtling up from the pressure and power of Petrino and Petrino taking that top position, landing ground and pound and grind out a decision over him. Probably a little bit more striking than that, but I mean, generally, I feel like that's how I expect the fight to go. So, in this one, I got Vito Petrino via decision. 